Evelyn Dupre, obviously is my name. Um, I'm a freelance singer, a writer, and uh, my origin originally, my family, are from Ghana, West Africa. So I'm Aussie born and bred, so first generation Australian. People know me because I've branded myself as such as a jazz singer. But I also have done backing vocals for rock artists. Um, I'm currently in a Motown show called Dancing in the Shadows of Motown, so that's a lot of fun. And as a songwriter, I haven't done a lot of songwriting of late. I started my music career with an original band, so I was the songwriter in that particular band. But it, my journey as a writer has morphed from being singer-songwriter to being author, so uh, in terms of the impact of COVID, everything stopped, like virtually overnight. It, well, yeah, pretty much overnight. I had gigs booked until the end of the year. And um, I also was working in a performing arts centre and obviously gathering of people, couldn't do it. So yeah, no work, just like that. I am more than just a singer. I'm a human being first and foremost, you know. And so even though it was challenging not to have a creative outlet in the way of singing, it really gave me time to stop and just think and reassess and try to think out of, outside of the box as to what else I can be doing. I guess in terms of uh, Black Lives Matter, the movement, um, certainly on my work, I don't necessarily feel that it had any direct impact. Um, as a person, I it's kind of hard to say. It's, it's one of those conversations that it's not something that you can really sort of have in a matter of minutes. I am someone who was born and bred in Australia, and so I've always sort of seen myself as a person, not necessarily as a black person. And, and I kind of like that. I prefer not to... Um, segregate myself or or categorize myself by color necessarily more just as I'm a human being you know and I want to be respected and loved as a human being and I want to give that love and respect to other human beings because of the fact that they are human beings I feel like we're living in an era where our, our identity as human beings is being tossed to and fro and people are like who am I what, what am I here for you know and so I would like to be remembered, whether it is through my singing or whatever art form, as someone who helped people realise they're valuable and they have something to offer and contribute to this world.